Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to explore somewhere I've never been before, and you're going to come with me. Ready to go? So, I just moved to the city of Binghamton, New York to start a PhD, and Binghamton is a really interesting city because it exists at the confluence of two rivers, the Susquehanna and the Chenango. The rivers have a really interesting geology because the water here is slow enough that silt deposits can build up in the center of the river. And so there are these islands in the center of the Susquehanna made up of, of you know, washed up river debris. And the rivers frequently flood, so nothing's ever been done with these islands because it would, it, they're not stable enough to build solid structures on. But they are stable enough to grow trees on, which is really crazy. So there are these old, old maple trees. I think the trees must be, oh, I don't know, maybe 200 years old. They're so wide. And it's just like this sort of pristine island in the middle of a river in the middle of a city. So that's where we're going right now. I am driving my car to the river's edge and then I'm going to wade across and show you this fantastic island that has been occupying my imagination recently. So thanks for coming with me on this journey. Continue on New York 201 South for a half mile. All right. Here we are, and this is our island. So I'm gonna walk down the riverbed a bit and then swim across. Now it's time to remove my clothes. So luckily, the river is shallow enough that I can put all my things in this bag, put it on my head, and walk across. So I am on the very tip of this island now. You can see it starts with just pebbles. So downstream is behind me and upstream is in front. So the way that this island has formed over the thousands of years is the river brings silt and rocks like the ones below me and it just comes and for whatever reason it deposits it here. And so the island is really really long because the river keeps on flowing on either side of it. And the rocks and silt build up and as I walk that way, we'll actually start to get soil. So you can tell that this land is subject to a huge amount of erosion because this tree is basically on its side and most of its roots are exposed. But despite that, it's incredibly healthy. It's growing on almost no soil on the edge of a river and it's just, it's just getting along. Life, life just keeps going on. All right, into the forest we go.